If you guys thought watching the Gods of Destruction battle was intense, wait until you see this one. What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Mods introducing the angels ladies and gentlemen we have a total of six brand new angels in the game as you guys can see we have cuss of universe number 10 we have corn of universe number eight we have sour of universe number two we have cocktail of universe number five we have cognac of universe number four and of course we have campari of universe number three and of course with our two resident angels that being vados and of course weiss we're about to go on ahead and throw down in a intergalactic inner universal angel battle so without wasting any more time out of all these angels honestly i actually dig cuss so i'm gonna go on ahead and pick cuss and on her team i'm gonna pick the following so it's going to be cuss it's going to be a Whis, and of course it's going to be I, I, I guess you could say we're going to pick Cognac for this one, and our opposing fighters are going to be as follows. We're going to go ahead and fight Sour. Uh, where is Vados? Vados is thick, man. Hashtag Vados is thick, man. Look, look at her. Oh, my God. One of the most beautiful angels they have, actually, uh, aside from probably Margarita. So we have Vados, and the last person on the squad is going to be Cuckatail. So there we guys have a guy. I mean, a lot of you guys wanted to see angels throw down, and since it's the holiday season, I said, you know what? Why not have the angels fighting again? If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and subscribe. Punch that subscribe button, guys. Enable all notifications. If you guys want to see more, let me know down below. And honestly, let me know down below as to which angel do you guys believe is the strongest angel among them all. And we're not going to count the Grand Priest for this because the Priest, I think, is an exemption because obviously if you pair up any of the angels against the Daishinkan, Daishinkan easily wins. So for me, I mean, it's kind of biased to say Whis, but then again, it's like he is the only one we've seen in action before. We, we've never seen a Margarita. We've never seen Vados. We've never seen anybody else in action before. So it, it's, it's kind of hard to say as to who would win. Uh, but that's why I leave that in the hands of you guys and letting me know as to what you guys think. Uh, as to which angel do you guys favor the most. And of course, which angel do you guys believe is the strongest among them all. So let me see here. What is my Punisher driver here? Oh, oh, she has Gogeta's move. That, 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 that's pretty dope. Oh, do you see that? Yo, she has Gogeta's move set. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But I mean, needless to say, what kind of sucks about Super is the fact that we have all of these angels being introduced, but yet it's like we never get to see any of them in action. The only angel we ever saw in action was Whis, training with Goku. And I think, in my opinion, having to see all of these angels debut, I think it'll be suitable to at least see one of them fight. Uh, at least Vados and seeing her train somebody or whatnot, or even Margarita in training Jiren or something, because it just seems kind of silly at the idea that they introduce these characters, but we never see them in action. I mean, I, I get it. They are the attendees of the gods, and they're, I mean, they're ultimately supposed to look after the gods and teaching them and, and you know, pretty much just trying to, you know, govern over them and whatnot. But I, at the same time, it's like, what's the point of introducing them if we're never, ever going to see them fight? So, so far, this looks to be a stalemate. I, I don't think anyone's in the lead right now. Uh, I'm fighting two angels at the exact same time, so I don't know about this one. Oh! You caught me with the exact same move that I was going to use. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, all I need to do is just get away from this dude fast enough for me to use that move. Damn, yo. That's crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm getting jumped right now. Like, I, I'm legit just getting jumped right now. Oh, there we go. Caught him. Uh, what is my finisher? There we go. Whis's finisher. The exact same finisher that each of the angels have. I'm going to go ahead and finger sour real fast. Uh, I, I think, let me see. Cuckatail. Between sour and Cuckatail. I mean, Cuckatail is just watching like, I just love how he's just standing there, like, minding his own business. Um, but then again, Cognac, as you guys can tell, Cognac has not taken any damage in the least. I think the weakest angel out of everybody is probably me. Uh, as of right now, it's probably going to be me. I, I, I really doubt that I'm going to inflict any sort of damage on this dude right here. Uh, but if I was Whis right now, yo, I, I would have at least beaten Vados. As you guys just saw at the ring stage, look, look at the ring stage. It, it just, it looks like they're fighting all over the place, dude. It just looks sick, man. Oh, can I destroy him? Can I destroy him? Please let me destroy him. Oh, we have legit eight seconds left. Oh, all I need is one more knockout. Oh, all I need is one knockout, guys. All I need is... Oh, there we go. We won. We instantly won this. Yes. Okay, so our team managed to be victorious on this one. In case you guys have missed out the God of Destruction fight, that was a pretty intense fight as well. Uh, we covered most of the gods. The only god I, I didn't really have on the squad was Cedra and Arak. Um, and I'm working on getting them, so here we go. Uh, who am I going to use next? Uh, Korn just looks so bland to me, honestly. 
but I want to see if anybody else has like any sort of like unique abilities. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, I I'm gonna use the Angel of Universe number three, Moscow's Moscow's little attendee. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, who's gonna be on my team? I want to have Sour on my team, and I'm gonna have Cockatiel on my team, and we're gonna fight the likes of the following. So we're gonna go on ahead and square up against Weiss Vados, obviously the two. Uh, and the last person I'm probably gonna square up with is, is probably gonna be, uh, let's see, who do I have? Probably either Cognac or I'm gonna square up against Corn. You know what? Corn just looks so bland to me, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go on ahead and pair up Corn with them. But, but I mean, to Weiss's credit, what I really, what, what I really enjoy about Weiss is the fact that he just seems like one of those deities that he, he's not really hard to get along with, but he is easily irritated at the idea that if you don't follow his orders, it's like he can easily just, uh, just dispose of you and I, I just love how he trained Goku and Vegeta um I just don't like how we never get to see Whis in action like, I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody in the fandom is very very curious as to what Whis can really do like I mean like legitimately really really do um and as as for the other angels and gods as well I mean the closest we, we've ever seen any of the other you know gods fight was in the anime when we saw Liquor versus Iwan versus uh, Arak, and aside from that, the only other time we saw all of the gods fight was in the manga, and the chapter 29 manga was very intense because for the first time we got to see Vermal fight Sidra, fight Champa, fight Beerus, fight, fight Mosko, fight Halise, like everyone was just brawling, and that was the only ever time we got we had a chance to see that, so maybe one day, hopefully one day, uh, in the anime, we get to see something be done to where the angels are involved, or more of the Hakaishin are involved because it just feels kind of tacky to me that we don't have any sort of involvement by the Angels. Um, I'm pretty sure that, of course, by the long run, they would easily decimate whoever gets in their way because of their ranking and how strong they are. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that all the Angels must be different when it comes down to using abilities and using certain tactics to uh, to get ahead. Um, I, it's, it's just weird to me how, like, we're, we're probably never going to see them fight. But, I mean, hopefully one day we have a chance to. So, either way, guys, I do want to say uh, happy holiday season for those of you that have missed out my previous videos. Be sure to go on ahead and check them out, guys. Uh, we're I mean, hopefully enough we can break past 500,000 subscribers. I mean, we're, we're creeping up on that number, man. We're creeping up on half a million. So, hopefully enough, guys, we can band together and uh, achieve that goal because that is the ultimate goal as of right now is to break past 500,000 subs. Let me see if I can, uh, who am I gonna fight here? Alright, so Korn, Korn is, he's vulnerable right now. Come on, come on, come on, there we go, there we go. Alright, can, can Sour, there we go. Finally, we defeated him, dude. Oh, that, that's, that's two victories for us, though, so far. I don't know, I mean, I mean, between, between Vados and some of these other dudes, like, I, I, I firmly believe that the guy that I'm playing as right now, uh, Coppery, I think it is, uh, I, I don't, I don't really see him being, like, that powerful in comparison to Whis or Vados per se. I mean, not 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 too much inferior, but I can definitely see Vados and Whis being superior to him, as opposed to like someone like Margarita or even Cuss. Um, that's an entirely different story, uh, because again, we don't really know where they rank. Hopefully, one day we're gonna get like some sort of like an official guide to how strong the angels are, or maybe for all we know, like they're all in even in terms of like power levels and whatnot. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait and see as to what happens here. But uh, hopefully enough, um, I mean, going into the new year, I mean, what I cannot wait for is I can't wait to see what the community is going to do in terms of creating brand new mods, in terms of, like, designing some really cool shit. Um, and I, I, I just can't believe that already it's December. I mean, who, whoever would have thought, like, we would have gotten here so quickly, so, damn. These angels are throwing down. You know what? Just for your viewing pleasure, I have an idea. I have an idea. And this is what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna pair up the following. I'm gonna go on ahead and assemble the following angels to be on my team. So I'm gonna go on ahead and pick Vados. I am going to pick Whis, and I am also gonna pick Cus. And we're gonna fight the following deities. We're gonna fight the following gods of destruction. We're gonna go on ahead and fight. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Gene is gonna be interesting. So we're gonna fight Gene. We're gonna fight Beerus, and we're gonna fight Champa. So as soon as I can get to Beerus, we're gonna start this. Beerus, and of course, Champa. And what's crazy is, like, the Gods of Destruction have a more unique design in terms of, like, intimidation, in terms of, like, the way they look and the way they function, and still, they're inferior to the Angels. Now, now this is gonna be interesting because Jean is gonna be the most difficult. Jean is gonna be the most difficult because 
he he has i guess you could say ultra instinct look at vados oh my god vados is big all right where is champa oh yeah vados versus champa vados finally puts champa in his place for being fat <laughs> champa sama fat ass all right uh Whis looks like he's taking damage and so is cuss i i really hope that's not the case and i'm pretty certain that it's because of gene or Jin, however it is you want to call him Let's just see if I can go ahead and turn it. Damn, Champa. Ch I mean, look, look, Champa. Jesus Christ, it's December. Just learn how to learn how to not be so grumpy. I mean, I Champa's like the Grinch. Champa is like the Grinch, bro. But either way, everybody, I do want to wish you guys a very happy holiday season. I hope you guys spend your time well. Uh, be sure to follow me at Twitter, guys, for more information and updates on all social media involvements. Uh, just to keep up to date and talking to me and whatnot, because I, I do tend to interact with you guys more on Twitter. Um, which, again, you can find my Twitter handle down, down below. Damn, Champa. Why, why does... Yo, Jesus Christ. Is we yo, are, like, are my guys going to seriously lose to the deities, bro? Like, is Beerus and, and, and uh, Jin really giving our, our, our gods or our angels a tough time, dude? Requiem of Destruction. It's over, Champa. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. That did nothing. That sucks. I, You know what? I, I should have picked Whis, bro. Damn, Champa, yo, Champa's inflicting massive damage on me right now. And that's considering the fact that the other the other gods of destructions are kicking my other angels' asses, man. Like, that's crazy. Hold on. <laughs> I, I I need to set aside everything right now. Because this this would be the first oh yeah, th this would be the first game that we would lose. This would be the first game we lose right now. So so as long as Cusk Oh, there goes Jin. Son of a bitch. Messed up my flow. Oh my god, he keeps messing up my flow. Oh my goodness, dude. Now, see, here's the thing. What if two gods of destructions actually ganged up on an angel? Let's say if it's two gods versus one angel, who wins? Is it the gods or is it the angels? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it was a if it was a handicap per se. All right, uh, I want to pick Cognac. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him. I'm gonna pick Capri, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, Cockatail versus the, the likes of Cuss. We're gonna fight Corn, and we're gonna fight Sour. And for this one, I, I think I might go in the future, just because this is a really cool map. But either way, everybody, I do want to say thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you guys were entertained and enjoyed this video. If you guys have not checked out my previous mods before, I have the official mod playlist down below, literally consisting of, a, of hundreds of different mods, guys. Oh boy. Look at the size of this dude's chin, my god. Crimson and chin. If you guys want to see more, guys, let me know down below as to what you guys want to see. In terms of, like, survival challenges and whatnot, because uh, I am planning on doing more survival challenges next year and whatnot, so... And with fighters coming out as well. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to cover more of that uh, on the channel as well. But who knows, man? Maybe one day we get to see the angels in action. I, I would personally love that so much. Um, just because I feel like I'm one of the only people that wants to see like Whis in action at least give us some involvement with Whis um because given the fact that we've only seen him in action and nobody else I would love to see a situation be presented to where you know Whis needs to be involved in order to put that you know that character down let's say for example there was like some sort of like a Makayoshin or some sort of like an evil angel or something to where not even Goku Vegeta like nobody was able to do anything you know like I I, I would have it to where like um, Whis comes into play, like, for example, I originally thought that perhaps maybe during the Goku Black story, we were going to see some involvement from, uh, Beerus, or from even Whis in, in trying to destroy Goku Black and Zamasu and whatnot, because he was immortal, that would have been a pretty cool concept in my opinion, uh, let's just see what happens though, damn, yo, she is shit-stopping me with her giant heels, god almighty, cuss, but either way, guys, these were the angels. I mean, I mean, they all they all play a little differently. Um, it pertains to like their their finisher. I'm guessing that they have like kind of like the same finisher or whatnot. Um, let me see. To a degree, of course. Let me see if I can finger her to death. Oh god, I, I missed completely. What a fail. What a fail. How did I miss that? Oh my god. But also, I mean, this this gives me hope. Uh, this gives me hope for, you know, like, the new year, because next year, hopefully enough, we get to see more, de uh, you know, more developed mods. Yo, the other angels are just standing there, dude. What the hell? Why are the other angels so immobile is my question. You know what? Time to finger him. Oh, yeah. Da down they go. Two for the price of one. Because I'm noticing that nobody on my squad right now is taking any damage. And I'm like, all right, well, that that's, that's different, I guess you could say. 
Oh, uh, there we go. Come on, take some damage, take some damage, and he's hurt, but he's still active. Uh, my angels aren't even fighting for whatever reason. I have no idea what's happening right now. Perhaps maybe they were just too afraid. I have I have no idea. Cause like literally, like they they aren't doing anything. Oh, why am I standing there? Hold on, hold on. All right, shit. Cuss is up. Cuss is up. Oh, hello there, brother. Bam. Let me see. Hold on. This isn't. Oh, the, the uh, dimensional ray. All right. Uh, let me see if I can take out Cuss. I mean, cause either way, we already won the game. We already won the game based on numbers alone. I got one knockout, so that that's all that really counts for me, honestly. Damn, but what a way to close off the year, right? Ending it off with angels having a fight. I mean, that, that that's that's unique in its own right, right? All right, so you know what? I have an idea. We're gonna showcase one more fight with the angels, except this time, I have an idea. I have a proposal. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the strongest mortals. We're gonna do Ultra Instant Goku. We're gonna do Jiren the Gray. And we're also gonna do Ultra Instant Vegito and Fighting Cuss and fighting Cuckatail, and last but not least, fighting Sour. So let's just see what happens. UI Goku, UI Vegito, and of course, Jiren the Gray. And by the way, look, look at Sun Goku, man. I, 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 may, I may in fact actually showcase him uh, in the long run. Because again, I mean, there are different variations of, of Goku in this game. Watch this, look at his aura, look at his aura! Man, the sexiness, guys, the sexiness. Uh, let's go on ahead and end things off here. I, I, again, um, what, what I'm thinking about doing, in all honesty, if I am going to do a survival challenge, I may do it next year uh, in terms of doing brand new ones uh, involving Ultra Instinct Goku first because I haven't really done uh, like one of the, like one of the, like, a, like a consistent survival challenge in quite some time. Um, I mean, we, we, we've did a few a couple of days ago and whatnot, but I, I want to do like a really, really engaging one um, involving seven characters. Seven characters to the point where like, it just feels like an all out assault. Come on. Son Goku. I mean, yo, his aura looks beautiful. Honestly, one of the best models that I've ever seen for Goku in this game when it comes to Ultra Instinct. So, shout out to the guy who made this because hopefully enough we get this in DLC Pack 6. Hopefully, of course. Look at this, man. This is insane. And by the way, we have more coverage for the Tournament of Power and whatnot, uh, so make sure you guys check it out. Also, for the upcoming Q&A, guys, leave your questions down below if you guys want to go in ahead and have your questions featured. It's over right now, dude. As soon as I get my, my one chance to eliminate him, I'm going to cripple the other two. And also, I mean, what I what I enjoy about Goku, at least for this model, is the fact that his uh, his stamina recovers quick. So where are the other... There, there they are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go in ahead and do this. Uh, Ultra Instinct Kamehameha, the Warp Kamehameha. But of course, let me see. Come on, Jiren. Jiren and Goku working together to fight an angel. Imagine that. Just imagine Goku and Jiren working together to defeat an angel, bro. Like that... You can't tell me you wouldn't see that. You really can't. Oh, it's over. It's over. Don't cock block Jiren. Don't cock block. There we go. It's over. Beat the dog shit out of her. All right, here we go. Where is... There he is. Cockatiel's the last one. AKA the nickname for Cocktail. But either way, everybody, I hope you guys really did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to go in ahead and leave your, leave your thoughts down below as to what you guys want to see next. If you guys enjoyed, slap a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Share the video to as many people as you can. Follow me at Twitter, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comments section below. Happy holidays, everybody. Peace. Hey, hello, everyone. Please remember to subscribe to Everland Gaming for the latest in Dragon Ball news and information. Also, please remember to turn on notifications if you want to see Bulma's titties. <laughs>